Yeah, pretty much uh, struck out this week. I've went to six auctions and I haven't bought anything. So, just how it goes. But I don't see anything here that I'm going to pick up or stick around for. How's it going, guys? Um, this week wasn't the greatest of weeks of, uh, of fines. Uh, I actually went to a lot of uh, state auctions. Uh, I went to three on Thursday. I went to one estate sale on Friday, and I actually went to three more estate auctions today. And I only bought a handful of things. It was uh, pretty pretty dry out there. Uh, not a lot of not a lot of things for me. A lot of household type stuff, uh, but just nothing that uh, really interested me. But uh, to kick things off, I thought I'd do the uh, the watch giveaway. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to give away uh, to the person who made a comment on my video. Um, I'm going to do another watch giveaway at 900. So. Uh, Stay tuned for watch giveaway number number two at 900 subscribers. But I did a uh, got a number generator here, so there were 17 comments on the video. So I'm gonna uh, do the third click, and that will be the uh, subscriber who will win the the watch. So there's one, two, and three. So whoever made the, actually the last comment, uh, so I'm going to start from the bottom up. So whoever made the last comment will win the watch. So we'll go back here to see who made the last comment. So looks like... Gary Pearson made the first comment. And looks like Rachel is the winner. So uh, Rachel, uh, contact me and give me your address and I'll send you out the little Timex. So uh, thanks for the, uh, the replies, Rachel. Appreciate it. Um, so my finds uh, for today, uh, or the last couple days, not the greatest. Uh, at the estate sale, end up picking up some albums uh, they're in very very nice uh, condition so have a Rolling Stones and these are all two dollars a piece so uh, Rolling Stones uh, Van Halen uh, Journey again in pretty nice uh, condition a for promotional use only Iron City House Rockers and then a debut album of uh, Van Halen. That's the second one of these I've gotten the last week or so. So, and then uh, you saw the footage of that uh, auction I went to today. I always make it a point to go through at least twice. And sure enough, the uh, second time through, uh, this was sitting... Uh, There's a box sitting on top of it, so I didn't actually see this the first time through. And I actually paid... $2.50 for this, plus a buyer's premium and sales tax. So this was under $3. Um, so, yeah, good deal on this. But anytime you guys come across any uh, manuals for uh, guns, are uh, pretty, pretty desirable. I looked these up, and these sell for around 10 to 12 bucks a piece. So have a Ruger Security 6 uh, parts list and instruction manual. And then a uh, Ruger New Model Single 6 instruction manual. And I was kind of shocked nobody else bid on these. Uh, I think they maybe thought these were just uh, toys or cap guns. But there's actually a real gun in here. So this is just uh, this looks like a toy gun. It looks to be uh, pretty old. 
So I'm not sure if this is uh, homemade or converted uh, from another gun to a homemade type gun. And I've had a number of these in the past. Uh, these are uh, Star Trek toys from the late 60s, early 70s. And they call them uh, tracers. But they, uh, you shoot, you put a little disc inside there and you shoot it. And it shoots out the end. Uh, they're little uh, discs like the size of a, uh, a dime. Um, I did an eBay search and it looks like the uh, values on these have dropped a little bit. I remember a few years ago these would easily bring 30 to 40 dollars. So it looks like some of them do sell that high. I've seen some sell as low as uh, ten dollars, so um, still a nice little find. Like I said, you know, based on the contents uh, per item, this was like seventy-five cents. But actually, this is a real uh, gun, so it's obviously it's uh, just the parts. There's no trigger. There's no, uh, I guess, hammer. Uh, but this is a actual revolver. And Forehand Arms Company in uh, Worcester, oh, that's Massachusetts, can't really read it through my phone, uh, double action revolver. So this is actually a real, real gun. Uh, you can actually sell this on eBay, surprisingly. But I actually have a gun guy that uh, <clears throat> I'll do a trade with him, so I'll give this to him, and uh, I'll see what he'll uh, give me in trade for it. So, yeah, an actual uh, a real gun found at an auction. So, like, again, I think people just thought it was just a, like a cap gun, but it is an actual real gun. Then I got one of the battery Zen for the, the digital watches I found. Uh, and I put the battery in it. This is a, looks like it's from 1995 and has the uh, floating display. I've never actually had one of these before. So it is a world time. So if you go through it, uh, I see the world time display on top of there. It's kind of interesting. So this was one of the uh, $5 watches I found. So it is uh, working, everything works. And uh, also another update. Uh, I told you guys those, told you guys about those uh, Accutron bands I found uh, yet last week. I actually sold the first one, and it sold for seventy nine ninety five. So I still have uh, three more of those to sell. So I was uh, really happy to find those uh, watch bands. And yes, watch bands will actually sell for that high. So uh, again. Thank you, uh, Rachel, for the comment, and uh, get a hold of me, and uh, give me your address, and I'll send you that little Timex, and then, like I said, at uh, subscriber uh, number 900, I'll do another watch giveaway. Thanks again, and take care.